Well, we're looking at another one of SunnyTech's hot air Sterling engines. Uh, this one looks a little different from the other two that I've seen. Uh, the the uh, cylinder configurations are a little different, but the principles are the same. This one that I'm heating now with a little alcohol burner is the hot cylinder. This is the cold cylinder. Uh, if you've read about the principles of the Sterling engine, you have an idea of what makes it go, and it's, it's fascinating to read about even more fascinating to see it in operation. So I've had it going here now. I can tell you I've already played with this one for a while. It's going to be going so fast that it's going to vibrate this around the table so you're going to see me holding it down. It has a little feet on the bottom but but uh, it's still going to try to move. So we're going to get her cranked up here with the... Oh boy! That really flies. I can't even see the pistons moving. And you see how bright the LED is lit up. That is impressive. I believe this one has the highest RPM of any of the uh, Sterling engines that I've seen so far. I'm going to show you something else. I'm going to blow the burner out now. Just from the heat energy that's trapped in those cylinders, you're going to see how long it will run. Last time I tried this, I believe it was over a minute without any heat being applied to it. These are the coolest little engines. Uh, they look like magic. You have to read about them. Uh, Wikipedia has a nice article and you can read the principles that make them operate. And, uh, they're just fascinating things to watch. And we're just about wound down. Well, there you have it. That's another one of the uh, Sterling engines, and they're they're so much fun to play with. Even uh, more fun when you start digging into the science that makes them run. So, full disclosure, I was given one of these to evaluate and review. I appreciate your watching.